Windows Phone 8.1 Developer Preview has finally hit the update store. And in case you don't have or don't know how to get the preview, this is a quick guide to show you how. So first of all, you're going to want to download and install the Developer Preview app. So I have that QR code right here on my 2520, so if I just pop open Bing Vision, and let it scan the code, it'll take me to the thing. And you can go ahead and scan that code as well if you want. And here I have the Preview for Developers app. So what you want to do is just hit install. It's a really tiny app, nothing to it, and this will install the app. And before anyone asks, you can do this on any phone you have, any Windows Phone 8 device, uh, Lumia 520, 620, 1520, anything at all, even HTC, Samsung's, whatever you have, it'll work for it. So once you get the Preview for Developer app and let it install, you'll get the uh, little screen here that you can see. It says preview for developer, blah, blah, blah. Who cares about that? Just hit next. Once you hit next, you get term of agree, and it'll connect to the server. It'll ask you to log in. If you have an active AppHub account, you can just sign in with that. If not, it'll ask you to make a new one, and you can sign in after that. So I'm just going to sign in with mine real quick. And once I'm signed in, I'll get this screen right here. And since I have an active AppHub account, all I have to do is press enable preview for developers and hit done. Once that's done, I got success. Hit done again. So if I just head into settings and go to phone update and check for update. Once checked for update, Windows Phone 8.1 update should show up and it should begin installing by itself, which is pretty awesome. So as you can see, it's found an update and it's downloading it. And So as you might have noticed, I switched over to my 1520 just to save time, and basically that, there was a first update, which was just an update to help you update to Windows 8.1, so it's kind of like a stopgap update. So there's actually going to be two updates. The first update, which you download, and once you start updating, you'll have the cog screen, as you can see here, and then it'll get the almost done migrating your data steps. Once that's done, you're going to run through the settings app once again, and search for another app, another update, which should be the Windows Phone 8.1 update. Now that the first update part, which was the one that enables Windows Phone 8.1 is done, as you can see here, we're all set up for the new OS update, including the latest one, Windows Phone 8.1. We'll check for it shortly, but if you can't wait, you can check for it for yourself. Interestingly, my Lumia 925 did it a lot faster than my 1520, which is still searching and uh, migrating data because it has a lot more data on it. So anyways, if I just hit done, and now I'm back into the system, if, sorry about that, if I head back into settings again, then scroll all the way down to phone update, checking for updates once again. So we've already now updated to the stopgap update and we're just waiting for the 8.1 update to be found and uh, it's taking a tiny bit of time. And as you can see now it's found the update and it's begun downloading it and this is the actual 8.1 update not the stopgap so remember keep in mind when you're downloading there's two different updates to download. And once this is done I'll be running Windows Phone 8.1. Um, so guys don't wait around go give it a shot there's nothing to lose. You won't worry about any losing any data. Uh, you'll be get normal updates, uh, completely normal. You get the Nokia Cyan update or Blue update or whatever later on uh, with no issues at all. There's almost zero problems with this and this is usually the final build so you're not going to miss out on any new features or it's not going to be buggy. So just go ahead, grab it and you know enjoy. See you guys.